clarity, not just the carat weight. So on most diamonds that we recommend, we say anywhere from J color and better. However, when we're talking about an oval or pear-shaped diamond, you probably want to say somewhere at eye color or better for the most part. When it comes to an emerald cut, you can give up a little bit more on the color, but segueing over to clarity really quickly, you want to get something that has a very high clarity for an emerald cut because you can see right through the stone as opposed to the pear shape and oval diamond. Cut is the last thing, it's very important, it's overlooked and it's not graded on the certificate. A lot of websites put a cut grade, but in reality there is no cut grade on a GIA certificate for a fancy shaped diamond. So always keep that in mind that all of them can look different, doesn't matter what the certificate says, that's why you have to see them in person. So we're going to go right into some ring designs very quickly. Here we go. So we have oval diamond rings, okay? So we're going to start just quickly, quickly with the sizes here. Sorry about that. Technical difficulties. One carat, halo, non-halo. One and a half carat, non-halo, halo. This is a 1.7 carat, just in between size. And these are two carat diamonds without a halo and with a halo. All some of our popular styles. So we're going to get into a little bit more detail. Hope everybody's still following along at home. And starting at one carat size, this is a very popular style. This is a double edge halo, one carat oval diamond. Very nice quality on this stone. This is a D color VS2. Now a ring like this is gonna run you somewhere in this range. Now I can give you the exact price, but it might not be helpful because this ring will probably get sold fast. But just know that for one carat double edge halo like this, it's gonna be anywhere from seven to 10,000, depending on the quality of the stone. Now comparing that quickly to a one carat without a halo, can you still get that? You'll notice right away, look at the size difference that you get by adding a halo. Not everyone loves a halo. You don't always have to make your diamond look bigger, but it is something to keep in mind that you're almost doubling the surface area by adding a tiny perimeter of diamonds around the center stone. Now just going into a little bit more detail on some bigger ones. We'll go here. This is one and a half carat G color SI2. For something like this diamond, is SI2. We know it's a little bit lower on the clarity scale, but for an oval diamond, you can get away with a lower clarity grade because it's still eye clean, but that's not every diamond. That's the ones that we select for our designs. This is a very basic solitaire design, no frills on the side, just a little pave wrap underneath that we're become known for. So that's G color SI2. Now again, look at this difference the halo makes. This is one and a half carat E color SI1. So we went up in color grade. I think it's going to be hard for everyone to see this at home, the color difference, but you'll see again what adding the halo does. Now going from this very simple design, this is a much more complex ring. Because of that, we're going to have to jump up the price range a little bit more into this range because this setting is full of diamonds, maybe over 80 individually set pave stones. Look at the band, three rows. This is model number SOR 15625, and this is right around that $15,000 price range. It's a very nice quality center stone. It's a handmade setting, and you'll see that it does sparkle from every angle. Three rows on the band, double edge halo, so really no stone is left uh, unturned, if you want to say that. Now just going quickly to away from the quality, let's talk just about style. This is RS232 or RS220, Invisible Gallery, 1.7 carat. Quite a popular size because you will get something that looks almost like a two carat, but you won't pay that price tag. This is model number SOR14777. This is also in the same kind of $15,000 ballpark range over here. Also remember, this depends on quality. It can be more than that, it can be less. This is an F color, SI2, I clean SI2, top color, colorless range, very important for oval diamonds as well. All rose gold, only the prongs are in white. Next up, just going quickly to two carat sizes. This is a beautiful quality, G color VS2. This is kind of an ideal color clarity combination you can get because you're right outside the colorless range. It's gonna be white face up. And it's a VS2, means it's very clean. Even under a microscope, you can have a hard time seeing the imperfections. And this is our very popular micro pave wrap style. 
RS217 is uh, an example of on the website. This particular ring is not on the website yet, but it's going to be pushing over 20000 or around that price for a good quality two carat and the setting. So figure this, or it can be more, probably not much less than this, less than 15000 range, so figure it's going to be more on this end. Really nice style, brand new ring. We just got it for stock. It's again SOR 15833. You can email us about it. We'll have it on the website very shortly. And just to compare again, not to overdo it with the halo versus non halo, but a lot of people did ask about that. Are people watching? Yeah. This is a double edge halo, RS 246, probably the most requested oval halo design we have now. Look at how gorgeous that is. Really delicate. All yellow gold, sometimes people do it in two-tone, sometimes people do it in platinum, sometimes rose gold. So a lot of options. But again, look at look at what you get with the halo, but not saying it's better, just trying to point it out once again. And just to go back quickly, rose gold versus yellow gold. I know some people wanted to see the difference in that also. You can see both colors are very subtle. This is 14 karat yellow, 14 karat rose. So it's not gonna have that bright gold finish to it that can kind of detract from the center stone. It's very subtle. Looks good on any skin tone, maybe not on my finger, but on a woman's finger for sure. When we have a hand model, we'll definitely do a little bit better with modeling that. And uh, that's pretty much a good overview of oval diamonds there. Last thing to consider is the cut. All of these are really well cut diamonds, have nice proportions. They face up bigger than what they weigh. If you see some diamonds online, always check the measurements. We try to provide our clients with the biggest face up measurements. So you get something like here, this does weigh two carats, but it probably has measurements of a 2.2. So it's always important to check all the details. Settings are all beautiful. Uh, let's move on quickly to pear shape before we lose everyone. Another beautiful elongated shape diamond. Just going through some mostly halo designs, couple non-halos interspersed throughout. This is a beautiful ring. This is our classic halo style. This ring is going to be in the 7 to 10 range, could be a little bit less, but probably in that range for a safe bet for a good quality one carat pear shaped diamond such as this E color VS2 Clarity. And comparing it quickly to a one carat without a halo, quite a difference as you'll see. More standard setting, most people who do a one carat actually do like the adding the halo around, it does add a nice effect. Um, Quickly, just going to pick out a couple to go over some popular styles. This is an invisible gallery, 1.5 carat. Price range for this one, just want to double check, is going to be somewhere in here. Again, depends on quality. The quality of this stone is F color, E color, excuse me, SI2. This one is on the website, model number SOR15837. It's a beautiful stone, very nice proportions. If you actually see it in person, you'll think it looks like two carats because it has a really nice spread on it. Invisible gallery, lowest possible setting. As you'll see on my finger, it is almost point, almost touches your finger, so you really cannot get any lower than that. And comparing it quickly to another new ring we just put on the website, this is a 1.7 carat, right around the same price range. So here we went for a bigger stone. We went down on the setting a little bit, made it a little bit simpler, and you end up with basically the same quality stone, just a completely different look. This is our fully micro pave basket look. Very popular now. If you also like it for an oval, you can check RS275 on the website. Um, we're gonna make some with cushion. We're gonna go all out with this style, but this is for pear shape, really nicely detailed. Look how delicate we do the prongs. Doesn't distract from the stone, gorgeous shape. This is D color SI2 with a pear shape and oval diamond. You cannot stress enough that color is very important. Clarity is also important, but to a degree. You can go down to SI1 or SI2 very easily in a pear shape or oval diamond per stone. It's not every stone that's going to be eye clean or not hazy or milky, but these ones that we select for our rings, we make sure that we're delivering the top quality product for that range. Now getting into a little bit more of a complicated design, something with a split. Two, one, two rings with a split, we'll just go over these really quick. This is a very popular one also, big 2.3 carat center. This is a longer pear shape. They come in different variations. This one's a little bit longer, it's really gonna fill up on your finger. This is SOR12060. This one is gonna take you more into the 20 to $25,000 range for a ring like this. Beautiful 2.3 carat center, very heavy, it's platinum. 
it has a nice little split in the band, not too wide, diamonds on the edge of the halo. Comparing that to something along the lines of this, much, a little bit smaller, a more delicate version. So, you know, we make rings for any price range size you want. So if you like this style and you want it to not spend this amount, you'd probably go for something like this. Beautiful 1.2 carat. Looks just as beautiful on the hand. Also has a delicate split. Diamonds on the edge of the halo. So it really has all the same details just packed into a smaller place. Two nice ones. And just for fun, we'll pull this one out. This is a big one. This is over almost four carats. This is probably, didn't make the tag for this price range, but this is going to go over that, so 30000 plus for something like this. Gorgeous, delicate wrap underneath, that's our signature right there. Nice shape on it, teardrop shape. You don't want a pear shape that's too long. This has a nice full look to it, even sparkle throughout. So I think that kind of gives you a good overview of the pear shape rings. We can always get into a little bit more detail later, but I think these are some of the more popular styles. And it gives you a good idea of price range also. And last, if you guys are still with us, we're going to just do some emerald cut rings, which people also requested. Emerald cut, not as popular as these two, more of a classic style. But once again, when you pair it with a nice setting, anything can be so Starting here, this is a one carat halo ring, model number SOR14814. See how seamless we do the halo, no matter what. If it's one carat, three carats, half a carat, the halo is always going to wrap the stone perfectly. Each ring is custom made. This ring is going to put you around this price range. Very nice, affordable range. It's going to give you a nice look on the hand, really delicate, clean. Not too much going on on the side, very streamlined kind of look. Emerald cuts, diamonds, is very important to clarity. So I'm just going to jump to this one as an example of quality that we use. This is an H color VVS1. Just go back to the chart just really quickly. Can go back here. VVS1 is up here. That's emerald cut. It's very important to clarity because if you go down to a v SI1 for sure, 95% of the time you will be able to see the inclusion in an emerald cut. All other shapes, that doesn't hold true. VS2 even also, sometimes you might be able to see an inclusion in, a, in an emerald cut. If you want to be completely safe, we say VS1 or better for an emerald cut. This is VVS, so it's pretty much flawless. Even with a loop or a microscope, you would be hard pressed to find any kind of inclusion in this ring. And just to give you an idea, this is 1.8 carats. This ring is going to be around this price range, which still falls in for a very nice price point for a handmade platinum ring. A little split in the band. This is model SOR 15746. VVS clarity, so you can't really get much better than that and comparing it to a halo ring we did other comparisons halo non halo we should do it for emerald cut also you'll see that's the effect right there you do add a lot of size to it and it's a nice contrast between the little pave round stones and the emerald cut center diamond so it gives you a nice little glittery effect that the center stone does lack Here, if you want to check that out this is a popular ring also this is model number SOR15308. It's around this price range also. It could vary based on quality. This is an eye color VS1 clarity. Just want to jump back to the chart one last time before we go. Color for emerald cut. You can go down to J color in my opinion and still get a really beautiful stone because the color will not show up as much as let's say an oval or pear shape or radiant or any other cut of diamond. So I think for an emerald cut you can be anywhere in this range and be really happy with the stone you get. If you're really stuck on the quality, then you can go at DEF. We do sell that as well. You might not see such a big difference between this and this in this shape, but it's just something for you to keep in mind. And last of all, just going to two last strings I have out. Three stone ring, very classic, versus something that's very modern, micro pave, delicate ring. So you'll just see, I mean, this is two completely ends of the spectrum kind of style. So that's a three stone emerald cut, tapered baguettes. This is our Micro pave wrap, and notice we did it with rose gold underneath, so make it even a little bit more unique. Center stones are about the same size, 2.7 and 2.5 carats. Both are eye color, which I might not be able to see in the video that they do appear white face up, but if you're here with us in real life, you'd see that it's very hard to detect any color. Both are VS1 or better clarity. These kind of rings are going to be around the top end of the range over here, so. 25 to 30,000. So just to kind of recap everything today, went over all the different styles, ovals, pears, emeralds, talked about the quality. If you have any other questions, you can email us or DM us. We will be doing more of these in the future and we always look forward to what you guys have to say.